these kinds of features really rival the features that are available on some of the most high-end, most expensive control surfaces for DAWs that are out there today. The first thing to really highlight is that if I go and select a track like Main, so main is over here. You can see it in the focus channel. It's adjusting the volume and uh, I'll set that back to zero. If I go and bank this surface around, you can see that these faders are changing position, but I'm still on main here. So this makes your single fader surface really work like the focus channel in Luna. That's a real simple description. It's with a single fader surface in focus module mode. You're generally, uh, with the exception of spill, which I'll talk about in a second, going to have the same channel on your single fader device as is showing in the focus channel here in Luna. So whatever I click, Tom 2, kick out, et cetera, et cetera. No matter how I bank or nudge the surface here, the focus module is going to stick the, to the track that's in the focus channel in Luna. Now, there's something else that's really cool about the focus module, which relates to the bus spill feature in Luna. And I'll start out by doing a function key that's implemented on the MCU support, which is the F2 key. So any surface that you have that has F2, when you press that F2 key, which for the fader port is shift click, it does spill main. So you can see that the main bus is spilled. And now on my surface, I just have drums, the drums bus, which you can see the fader moving here, bass, guitar, and piano, and over here is main, and I'll actually select it here, and I'll move the, the main fader up and down. Um, and you can see that the arm button is blinking, and that's because a bus doesn't have a record enable feature, so we mapped the record enable key on MCU devices to turn spill on and off. So I'll show you that aspect of it as well. So I'm gonna arm that channel, and then I'll come over here to drums, which you can see is the leftmost fader on the SSL UF8. I'll put the UF8 into record selection mode and press select for drums. And onto the focus module is the drums bus. So you can see if I move this fader, it's moving, and I'll increase the size of these channels so it's easier to see. You can see that it's moving the drums fader while all of the sources for the drums bus are laid out on the surface. And I can bank around into those channels. So I've got kick through room and then Tom, um, and some other channels over here so that are showing up. And I can see the rest of my drums bus sources without ever losing the drums fader on the focus module. Dude, really like, powerful way to work. I love this focus module workflow, dude. Like I, I think I said in the other video, I'll say it again. It is the one of the coolest things I think you guys did with this, this whole implementation. It's like it's no longer just about banking through everything and, and kind of losing your spot as you're, you know, banking through channels the fact that you can have one that's tied to whatever channel is selected or whatever bus is spilled like it's a really smart move on your guys's part uh for, for making that workflow i think for the first time with these kinds of features really rival the features that are available on some of the most high-end most expensive control surfaces for DAWs that are out there today so it's something that you can have access to now in luna with any of this combination of mcu surfaces it's really awesome